Guys, raise your hands. We'll get you a mic. Coach will help you. Oh, sure. Good coach. Good. Hope everybody had a good uh, holiday weekend, and uh, we hope uh, you know, all excited about getting back to work. We use that term loosely <laughs> around here. <laughs> but in all honesty, I guess um, I asked the players today to be honest with themselves on you know what they need to do, what we need to do. Um, how do we get where we want to go? Uh, the kind of effort that we need, the kind of toughness we need to develop, the kind of preparation that we need to have, you know, to develop the right habits so that we have more and more guys that can play winning football at their position. And I think that takes a tremendous amount of discipline and focus to be able to play each and every play with the kind of effort, toughness, and discipline to do your job that's going to help us play winning football and you know right now we're making too many mental errors we have too many penalties we have too much lack of focus lack of attention to detail uh, but we're going to keep working with these guys especially the young guys uh, to get them to realize the importance of doing the little things right so that we have a better chance of improving as a unit when they're in there because we have more guys that are complete players playing their position so that's going to be the major focus this week uh, in terms of what we need to accomplish so that we can go out there when we scrimmage on Saturday uh, and have more guys that are confident in what they're supposed to do uh, and they can go out there and play fast and um, play the kind of football that we want to play on both sides of the ball and on special teams. So uh, we got a ways to go to get that done. But uh, we're making progress. Um, you know, the one thing that you notice in players that have a little maturity, have a little experience, is you give them the weekend off for Easter, they come back and they don't skip a beat. Uh, and you see some of the younger guys on the team that you're really trying to work with, um, they, 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 they don't seem to be able to retain the things that you work to get them to this point. And you take a step back, and now you got to go try to take two steps forward. And I think that's maturity with young players. Experiences like this help them see what they need to do to uh, work, get focused, prepare better, uh, so they know what to do when they go out there. We we can get it done the way we need to get it done. So that's the focus for what we need to improve on. Coach, we'll start front right here with Mark. Cooper Maiden was a guy who was able to get some experience last year. How much did that help him, and how's he looked so far this spring? Well, Cooper's done a good job. He obviously has the most knowledge and experience, you know, with the offense. Uh, uh, he's also the guy that's probably got more reps with the ones than anybody else. Uh, and he's done a nice job. Um, I think there's things that he needs to work on and we need to work on with him so that uh, he can go out there and play with the kind of confidence, be the kind of leader, and be the kind of decision maker that we need at that position to play winning football. And that's what we'll continue to focus on. Left middle with Matt. Questions for you, Dave. First of all, just to follow up on the quarterback question, Dave, what kind of progress has David Cornwall made since fall camp last year? And just what do you feel like some of his strengths are as a quarterback? Well, David's having a good spring so far. Uh, I think, um, you know, David has a really good arm. Uh, his arm talent is probably as good as anybody we have. His accuracy is good. I think, you know, he's smart, very bright guy. I think he's got enough experience in the offense for having been around here for a while to really have a good understanding of it. Uh, and I think he's made a lot of progress. Uh, I think that you know, the guy that wins the quarterback job is going to be the guy that wins the team over uh, with his ability to play on a consistent basis, make the kind of choices and decisions, show the kind of leadership to affect other people. And I think um, that this, this is something that everybody in the group needs to work on. And then with the three safeties from last year's recruiting class, Ronnie, Deontay, and, and Sean, how much have they come along since last year? Do you think it's fair to say that each of those guys maybe bring something different to the table? Well, um, you know, Ronnie played a lot last year. He's definitely ahead of the other two. Uh, I think the big thing that the other two, um, you know, they fall into the category of the guys that I just talked about. Uh, they both have ability to do certain things. Uh, and really can be positive players on the team. Uh, but the big thing is learning what to do, how to do it, why it's important to do it that way, and be able to go out there and play with confidence and execute it. 
And you know that's going to come from you know better focus, better preparation, uh, better discipline, better carryover. Um, spend more time thinking about football when they're not playing it, um, and so they get a better understanding of what they need to do. Um, you know, go ahead and come in and meet with your coach on days when we don't have practice, so you can have a better understanding of it. So, if those guys are going to make that kind of progress, that's the kind of habits that they need to develop. And they're only going to develop those, those habits if they invest their time properly uh, in doing those things. Back over here on the right there. Yes, uh, Deshaun Hand progressed in his two years in the program. Do you think it helped him at all, the expectation of not being able or not being expected to come in and, and contribute right away? Deshaun Hand has done a nice job. He did a nice job when he had a, a chance to play last year. Um, he's done a really good job this spring. Um, you know, with Jonathan Allen out, you know, him and Dalvin are getting all the reps with the ones. We're not really rotating anybody else in there with those two guys. And um, he's made a tremendous amount of progress. He's gotten bigger and stronger. He can still run. He's still a good pass rusher. Uh, we're trying to develop him as an inside rusher as well for third down. So um, we're extremely pleased with the progress that he made uh, and probably w would have been able to contribute even more than he did last year. Uh, if it had been given a little more opportunity. So uh, I think this is going to be a, a really productive year for him, and he certainly had the right attitude about the things that he needs to do to develop and you know, be that kind of player. Okay, we'll go to the back of the TV first seat there. What have you seen from Keith Holcomb, and specifically his ability to balance baseball and football? Well, I, I think it's tough. You know, they're, they're going away for, you know, these guys, I don't, I don't know how they do it. They leave today and they're gone until Sunday. Um, go to Montgomery and play a game, then stay there, then they're going to Athens. And so, you know, I get concerned about a guy playing two sports when he's got to miss four days of school. Um, we want him to play baseball. He wants to play baseball. Um, but, you know, Football players don't have to miss a lot of school because we play on Saturday, so seldom do we miss hardly anything. And uh, it takes a little getting used to for me, you know, for guys to do that. Keith's a bright guy, he's a smart guy, he's a good student, so it shouldn't have that big an effect on him. Uh, we want him to play, it makes it more difficult for him to balance what he needs to do in football, and he has a chance to be a great contributor next year on the football team. And by not being there in the spring and doing some of the things and the role that he fits into uh, could affect his development to some degree, but whatever he misses, um, we'll make every effort to make up so that he gets those reps and can get where he needs to be. Back in the middle with Alex. I just want to ask you, how, how, are you, how can you judge the offensive line, especially when you got so many uh, open spots potentially against a defensive line that's really the most experience you have in the team? I don't think our defensive line is all that experienced. We only got three guys that have any experience. Dr. Jonathan Allen's not playing. We moved to cut the ball back to defense. He's not playing. So, you know, Dalvin's got experience, and um, Ron has experience. Who else has experience? We got more experience on the offensive line. All right, so I don't know how you guys come up with this. We lost, we lost two guys on the offensive line, right? We lost four guys on the defensive line. So. I mean, my West Virginia math, as bad as it might be, <laughs> it still don't add up to what you're coming up with here. So, so why don't you rephrase the question and just ask what you want to ask, whatever it is. Or maybe you want to tell me something. Because a lot of times you guys want to give me your, your answer of what you think. So maybe I'll say that. But I, I just do it however you want. I ain't going to do it. How, but, but what you just ask is... How, how are you grading the offensive line? Them. I think we have a lot more guys that have potential to play right now. And there's a lot of guys that are in a developmental sort of, you know, stage. Lester Cotton has had a really good spring. He's played left tackle and right tackle. Um, you know, uh, Kervin has done a really good job, and he's made a lot of progress. And uh, he's having a really good spring so far. Uh, Ross has done a good job of moving over to center. You know, Cam is obviously not practicing. He's doing individual drills, but he's not doing any team drills. But, you know, he's played enough around here that we think he's going to be a pretty good left tackle. 
So I think the challenge is going to be, you know, with the new guys that we have coming in um, and the experience that we have coming back is getting the best five guys at the best positions that we can. So, and how we do that, you know, is going to be a little bit of a work in progress, but the faster we can do it, probably the better off we are because just because the guy's making progress at tackle, if you move him to guard, you know, you can say, well, it's offensive line, it's all the same, but things happen faster at guard. It takes guys a while to get used to that. So, um, I, I think what we're trying to do right now is give everybody a lot of turns so that we can make a good decision about who we want to invest the time in in the future to get the best five guys in the best spots for us to have the best offensive line in the fall. Last two questions here, Michael and then John. Other offensive lineman, Charles Baldwin, uh, coming this year as Juco guy. What have you seen from him with spring? He's a very good athlete. He's got a lot of ability. Um, he's got a lot to learn. He's got a long way to go. Um, you know, and. Uh, we're, we're going to continue to work with them to get them to do the things right, get them to buy him to doing things the way um, we need him to do them so he can have success here. And um, I think that might take some time, but we've got a lot of patience and got a lot of people around here that are willing to uh, see what we can make work with them. Last of the job. You mentioned Cam Robinson a little bit before. Just how is he kind of progressing health-wise, and how have you kind of maybe seen him grow as a leader? I know I think a few other players have mentioned that he's been pretty active in trying to help younger guys, even when he's not you know, doing team drills. Well, he definitely has leadership qualities. It's, it's, you know, he's got sort of the alpha dog personality that you really like as a leader. And, um, you know, some guys are willing to take that responsibility. He seems to be doing that. Um, he's making good progress. Uh, I think with Cam, he heals. And, you know, he, can, he always feels like he can do more than what the docs are willing or allowing him to do right now. And um, we certainly are going to make the decision based on the medical staff and we're not going to push him uh, this spring. Um, and, you know, so we can get him ready for the summer and, and the fall. But I'm pleased with the way he's uh, responded to this and the role that he's taken in trying to help the other players and set a good example for him and be a good leader. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you.